Good morning. I bring you day two of our 40 days of devotional steps to Easter. For those of you that do not know me, I am Katina Williams. And today we will meditate on Psalm 118, verses 25 through 26. Hear the word of the Lord. O oh Lord, save us. O oh Lord, grant us success. My goodness. Let me just take a little pause break for just a second. I don't know if you have had to call on him in 2020 or in these last few days of this winter storm, but oh Lord, save us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord, we bless you. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us say a quick prayer. Lord, help us to dive into this season of Lent with intentionality and purpose. I want to know you better, love you more fully, and accept your grace more readily. Draw me closer to you day by day. Amen. I invite you to listen to our daily reading. There are days when the last thing we want to do is rejoice. Our mood is down, our situation is out of hand, and our sorrow or guilt is overwhelming. We can relate to the writers of the Psalms who often felt this way. But no matter how low the psalmist felt, they were honest with God. And as they talked to God, their prayers ended in praise. When you don't feel like rejoicing, why not tell God how you truly feel? You will find that God will always give you a reason to rejoice. My God. <laughs> oh, clap your hands, all ye people. With the voice of triumph, shout. The more we praise him for, the more he gives us to shout about. Now, for me, <laughs> woo, if I wasn't trying to keep this devotional short and sweet, my God, that's enough right there. The more he gives us to shout about. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I invite you to reflect on these words. God has given you this day to live and to serve him. And let's be glad about it. Well, thanks for tuning in to our daily devotion. You are just one step closer to Easter. Have a blessed day.